Welcome to this online kinesiology course to study your anatomy. My name is David Kyle and I'll be your tour guide through your own anatomy. We have this great and amazing set to do the course in and I'm really excited that you've made the decision to learn this information. I have been teaching anatomy to students since 1998. And the very first anatomy class I taught to anyone was this very subject called kinesiology. In this course, we will give you some real world examples of the muscles, their location, and action. The truth is, the subject matter we are going to present is fundamental to truly understanding the more complicated ways in which we move our body in an integrated way. In other words, your ability to understand functional anatomy requires you to understand this information. When I first learned this information, it wasn't so apparent how important it would be to have this base of information to draw upon when trying to deconstruct complicated movements, as I often find myself doing. Whether you are a yoga teacher, a massage therapist, a personal trainer, or even a physical therapist, in order to deconstruct the movements of your students or clients, to evaluate their pain patterns or injuries, you need to know this information so you can deconstruct what might be going on. Without being able to distinguish and understand each muscle individually, how can we possibly understand the more complicated interactions between muscles themselves? After all, there are various combinations between muscle and the way they contract, relax, or lengthen. Learning this information is not simple, and it will require effort on your part to learn it. However, we're going to use technology to our advantage. As you see, we have this amazing set, including videos, 3D models, you'll have quizzes, questions, and me to break things down and simplify them. With all of these tools, I know you're going to find this information both fascinating and useful. Now, before we dive into each of the muscles, we need to cover some other important information about the muscular system and how it functions. Once we get that base level of information, we will start to dive into the muscles and all of their details. For each muscle, we will point out what joint or body part it moves, learn as much as we can about the muscle by deconstructing its name, see and learn the important bony landmarks that are related to the muscle and its attachments to the skeleton, and we'll use 3D models to see the muscle doing its actions. All right, I think it's time to get started. 